I say what's good with your fam fam Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide Where we talk nothing but this boxing Hey listen man um, Unified lightweight champion Some say one of the best fighters in the world right now Vasily Lomachenko He's letting off shots at your boy Mikey Garcia man Now we know Mikey Garcia was defeated by Earl Spence Jr. On March 16th down in Dallas man in a fight that, you know, frankly, nobody wanted him to take it. Um, his brother, Robert Garcia, his father, and the people around him, they told him that he should not take the fight. You know what I'm saying? He would be moving up in weight, in weight uh, two weight divisions to take on a guy that nobody wanted to face. You know what I'm saying? But Mikey Garcia, he didn't want to come up to, to welterweight and take on a, a lesser guy first. He didn't want to um, fight... Uh, Richard Comey at 135 he didn't want to fight another guy at 140 he wanted to go straight at the head guy at 147 the boogeyman as as a lot of people like to call him Earl Spence Jr. right away Mikey Garcia wanted to test his nuts man Mikey Garcia wanted to see if he was great you know and he really believed that he could beat Earl Spence Jr. well his belief did not come true um, Earl Spence defeated him in a lopsided fight um you know the fight was really one-sided i personally did not give mikey garcia one round if i was you know being sympathetic maybe i could have gave him the second round but other than that man it was just earl spence jr man uh all day all night long man just um displaying a beautiful display of boxing skills man um but mikey garcia you know he showed a lot of heart that night you know what I mean? He showed a lot of heart that night. A lot of people was questioning his heart um, because of the, the fight with Salido um, a couple years back where Mikey had a broken nose and some people say he quit. Um, the fight was, was, was called off because of a broken nose. Um, a lot of people questioned his heart during that fight, man. But, you know, we could throw that out the window, man. We, 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 we learned through the Earl Spence fight that Mikey Garcia does have heart. You understand what I'm saying? Um but a lot of people are criticizing his performance against Earl Spence Jr. Um, and specifically, uh, Vasily Lomachenko has something to say about this, man. Um, Michael Benson um, tweeted this out on Twitter. Um, he said, this is what, this is what uh, Lomachenko had to say. He said, I expected a little more of him. But in that fight, he was, fighting to, he was not fighting to win. In that fight, he entered the ring to get his check and to keep standing through all 12 rounds. I did not enjoy his performance. Now, that's coming from Lomachenko, man. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, before Mikey Garcia went up and wait to fight Earl Spence Jr., everybody in the boxing game wanted to see Vasily Lomachenko, um, who was a unified champion at lightweight, go up against Mikey Garcia, who was also a unified champion at lightweight. This fight would have been for all the marbles at, at a lightweight, would have been for the undisputed championship as uh, Mikey Garcia held the WBC and the IBF titles and um, Vasily Lomachenko, the WBA and the WBO. But, you know, Mikey Garcia didn't want to want to do that. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to move up and wait and he vacated his IBF strap rather than face uh, his mandatory Richard Comey. And, um, you know, he went he went for Earl Spence. So the people did not get get a chance to see Mikey versus uh, Lomachenko. But that's the fight people wanted. You know, and before this matchup, you know, people were asking, you know, all the pros, who they thought would win and getting their opinions on the fight. And right out the gate, Lomachenko said that um, he thought Spence was too big. He didn't know why Mikey was doing it. And uh, he, he he predicted that Mikey would lose the fight, man. And lose the fight, Mikey did, man. Um, Lomachenko is a two-time Olympic gold winner, for those of you who don't know. Lomachenko is the real deal. A lot of people got him number one, number two, number three, in the top three of being the pound-for-pound pound best in boxing right now. You know what I'm saying? He's just that good. And Lomachenko, I think he only have what? 13 14 fights i know he has under 15 fights and he has accomplished so much in the sport of boxing man i mean 
every sing almost every single one of his fights has been for a championship man um he was uh one of the best some people call him the best amateur boxer ever and he came into the game making noise you know what i'm saying so you know people really wanted to see this fight between him and mikey garcia you know and ever since the fight with earl spence uh you know mikey garcia was gracious in, in, in losing let me say that man uh he congratulated earl spence you know um inside the ring he said he was the uh the better man that night there was no excuses you know what i'm saying but um no one's seen seen or heard from him since he's missing mikey's missing man where is mikey garcia the people want to know you know what i'm saying normally you have uh es news ellie sat back in the the robert garcia gym you know what i'm saying interviewing those guys interviewing mikey garcia um you know and we have seen none of that you know what i'm saying i know this is his first loss you know some people take losses very hard man and uh and cope with him differently maybe he's taking this very hard and you know just taking some time to clear his head you know some people say that he might not be the same um after taking some of those shots from earl spence jr you know uh as far as vasily lomachenko saying that he just was there to get a check he was there to last the uh, just the last 12 rounds um you know I, I i can understand why it may look like that you know what i'm saying um because you know as the rounds progressed as we saw earl spence just dominated mikey garcia round after round um there was a point i believe it was round nine when robert garcia who was his brother who was his trainer he's he wanted to stop the fight you know what i'm saying he wanted to stop it call a halt to it uh, that 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 ninth round, Earl Spence was laying some heavy leather on Mikey. Man, it looked like he was going to stop him. Come come the next round, so Robert Garcia, you know, he went, he wanted to 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 take some of the weight off of his brother. Man, he wanted to stop the fight. Mikey Garcia said, "No, don't stop this fight. I can finish this fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm getting hit. Yeah, I'm losing the fight, but um, I want to finish. And from round nine on, you know, it really seemed like uh, Mikey Garcia um was in there just to survive you know what i'm saying just to make it to the final bell although i do gotta admit come he came out that 10th round and tried a little harder to uh to fight a little bit more that 10th round but um in 11th and 12th round it was just more of the same mikey garcia getting peppered with shots man they say earl spence threw over a thousand punches in that fight now i do believe that's a record man earl spence you know he he was letting them go you know, although his punches didn't have that snap on them like they usually have, man, um, you know, I think he was a little winded towards the end of that fight, man. But um, Spence looked spectacular, man. Um, and, 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 and Mikey Garcia, you know, um, by telling his brother no, by telling his, 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 his trainer that he could finish the fight, you know what I mean, that showed a lot of heart because he could have took that way out. That was a way out for him, man. That was a way out for him, and people wouldn't have, wouldn't have questioned his heart. You know what I'm saying? It would have been the trainer's call, would have been his brother's call, not his, to stop the fight. But Mikey did not want to end it like that. He wanted to go out on the shield, and and that's what he did, man. And um, you know, um, you got to give him some type of credit. Like like, there's no moral victories in boxing. I I agree with that. You know, 100. percent But you got to give Mikey credit for having heart. You know what I'm saying? And not quitting and um, staying in there, hanging in there and, uh, you know, with a with a battle tested, rough and rugged Earl Spence Jr. who was who was hammering him, man. He was hammering Mikey Garcia, man. Um, Derek James said that, uh, you know, after the fight, he said something on Mikey's broke. Something on Mikey is hurt. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's going to be hurt. He, he may never be the same. Um, I've heard some boxers say that Mikey Garcia may never fight again. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Derek James also said that he cannot see anybody um, going to full round with, with full fight, full 12 rounds with Earl Spence Jr., man. But Mikey Garcia did it, man. Like I told y'all before this fight, man, that, um, you know, I gave Mikey Garcia a lot of credit for stepping up for this fight. You know, and I took a lot of flack for that, man. I took a lot of flack um you know from from brothers saying that i was going against the race and all that bullshit right there man but the fact that the matter is man um you know i call it like i see it and 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 i really thought i really think that the guy showed 
extreme heart to take on this challenge of real Spence, man. And, and, and um, you know, I commended him for it, you know what I mean? And video after video, you know what I mean? He had big, he got big ass watermelon nuts, man, for doing what he did. That's a fact, Jack. You understand what I'm saying? Um, none of the, Sean Porter wasn't trying to fight him. You know, Danny Garcia wasn't trying to fight him. Keith Thurman definitely wasn't trying to fight him. You know, Terrence Crawford was a, was across the street, as they like to say. So what was Earl Spence supposed to do? You know, what was he supposed to do? You know, Mikey gave him something to do. Mikey said, you know what, I'm going to jump up and I'm going to fight him. You know, and he got to be commended for that, man, because people didn't want to fight Earl Spence. You know, Earl Spence was dangerous for, for any any fighter. You know what I'm saying? Um but where's Mikey right now? I want to know where he is. I want to know how he's doing. You know, uh, we'll probably never really know um, the effects that, you know, of the punishment that he took. Um, you know, me watching the fight, it didn't look like he was, uh, you know, he took a whole lot of punishment, although it was one-sided. He did take a beating. But, the um, you know, the, it wasn't like... Um, you know, he was just beating, beating and beating and beating and beating on him so, so bad that, you know what I mean, you, you wanted to throw the towel in. No, he just was losing a one-sided fight, man. You know, but um, Lomachenko wants this smoke with Mikey Garcia. Um, the WBC has given uh, Mikey Garcia the, 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 the time he needs to uh, get himself together. But the WBC want to an answer as to, what he plans to do as far as his um, WBC lightweight title. Does he plan to vacate it or does he plan to come back down and face the uh, his mandatory challenger in um, Luke Campbell? You know, the Bre the UK's Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell, um, you know, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, man. Uh, I would love to see him fight Mikey. You know what I mean? Um, I think Mikey would, would win that fight, but I do think it'll be a competitive fight, you know. Um, but that's the question, man. Is Mikey going to come back down to 135, you know, or will he go to 140, or will he stay at 147? Me, personally, I think Mikey should should um, go to 140. I think he, that that's a good weight for him. You know, where there's enough challenges there that, you know, what I'm saying he could be challenged and, um, you know, still do fairly well without being oversized. Well, the wake, I do think, although I do think he could compete with those dudes up there, I do think, um, you know, he would be the smaller guy in, in almost, you know, all of those fights up there. But there, there are some fights that he can win. At welterweight, you know what I mean. But um, you know, Mikey wants to be great. Mikey wants to wants to be at the top. He's not he's not just gonna be in the welterweight division just to take on, um, you know, the the Joe Blows of the welterweight division. He wants to take on the top competition. And right now, Earl Spence is at the top of that, the cream of the crop. You know what I mean, the top of the barrel at welterweight. So there's no sense of him, you know, staying at welterweight. You know, trying to um uh take over that division when all roads lead to Earl Spence you know what I'm saying I don't think that you know he'll ever be able to beat Earl Spence you know what I mean so therefore I think it's best for him to go down there at 140 you know what I'm saying compete with those guys like uh Josh Taylor Regis Progray uh Baranchik Relic you know what I mean um those guys you know what I'm saying so I do think he'll vacate his lightweight title um and down there you got you know you got those hungry young boys down there you know chomping at the bits ready to get that that slot man um i know at 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 number one is like i said is luke campbell then you got um abdulev is number two then you got devin haney he's ranked number three and then you got teofimo lopez who's ranked number four you know what i mean so those guys you know, should Mikey Garcia uh, vacate the title, those guys will have like, you know, I would figure, you know, they, the WBC will put on some type of, of uh, show or some type of tournament between um, Campbell, Haney, uh, Abdulev, and, and, and Teofimo Lopez to see who can fight for that, for that title, man. And those guys I just named, 
Those are some really, really good fighters, man. Those will be some really, really good matchups that I would love to see, that I would love to tune in for, man. Um, you know, we got to see. But if Mikey Garcia does come back down to 135, I think he beats Luke Campbell. You know what I mean? Um, but then after he beats Luke Campbell, you got, you know, the the Devin Haney down there. You got Teofimo Lopez. You know, I know Lopez had went down to the WBC in Mexico. Uh, he had went down there to petition the WBC to um, to be ranked higher. You know, he wanted that that number one slot. He wanted that mandatory position. Well, it seems like the, 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 the highest they gave him was number four, uh, which I think is good. You know, which I think is good. You know, I don't think that, uh, you know, he's, he's quite done enough to be number one or to be mandatory. But, you know, number four is a good option, man. That means you right there. You right in line to, um, you know, to get that shot sooner or later. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, man, uh, Lomachenko, he wants that Mikey fight. You know, uh, I would love to see it. You know what I'm saying? If there, if there's, if there's any chance that Mikey Garcia comes back down to lightweight, it'll be for Lomachenko and Lomachenko only. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then Bob Arum come out right after the fight and, you know, talk trash about Mikey's performance. You know, Mikey and and Bob already got bad bad blood. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why Bob Arum always does that. He always stirring the pot. He always muddy in the waters, especially when you're trying to do business with somebody, man. You're trying to do business with somebody. You can't spit in their face, man. You can't spit in their fa face, you know, uh, feed them a shit pie and then expect them to come to the table and do business with you, man. People just don't roll like that. Nobody wants to do business with nobody like that. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but, hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. But I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Um, but in the meantime and in between time, Stay blessed, man, and keep on supporting this thing of ours, this boxing. Peace. I'll be back.